what is good Neo family it's Ray J back with another video and in this one, I'm going to be talking about the one and only Neo stock and what you should be looking after for the future I'm also going to break down why Neo is looking pretty good for a balance going into next week based off what the technicals are telling us I'm also going to break down what's going on with the overall market with the new stat and technicals are telling us as well now that can all affect Neo going into next week and before I break anything down about this before I get into any more details and talk about Neo I do have to mention a couple of things before starting Firstly, I'm not a financial planner. Make sure you take none of this as financial advice whatsoever. And also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this. It not only benefits me, it benefits the entire Neo community as a whole. And the last thing is, if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link down below and in the description. If you sign up for Weeble, the link down below and deposit any amount of money into the account, you're guaranteed up to 12 free stocks, each worth up to $3,000. And the best part is, any could be a free Neo share. It's a limited time offer. The offer ends in just three weeks. Check it out before they run out. With that out of the way, let's get on with the video. Neo is currently flat at the time I'm recording this, but overall she's actually starting to hold these levels, trying to base around here. And I believe Neo has the potential to try to balance going into early next week. Now, I want to break down exactly why that is based off the data, but first I have to talk about some important things. Now, first I want to just mention that SPY currently has about 1.2 million puts expiring with the 407 max paying on 1.69 put to call ratio. The majority of individuals are holding the puts, so it's very likely the market's going to try to hold close to the levels it's at right now. I'm actually recording this very close to uh, to the close so far, and we're still holding up all right. We're not necessarily tanking or anything like that. Now, I also want to note that for NEO, we were getting hit with some positive news as well. Uh, we are seeing some analysts saying that NEO could double its overall share price this year. Uh, they're saying that NEO has a lot of potential for growth, and we should not worry too much about the first quarter deliveries report because they have so many more strong quarters coming. I will agree with that, at least for the super longer term, I do believe NEO will more than double and explode, but the only problem is, how is NEO going to perform during a recession that's likely going to affect the entire globe? Uh, could NEO continue to give us very strong deliveries every single month? I think it's very possible, I'm very optimistic for them, but we have to be very careful because NEO did mention that they don't want to cut prices and they don't really want to impact their margins too much. So if they continue to hold these higher prices, I don't know if they'll be able to get as many deliveries as some people are expecting. But at the same time, we'll have to just wait and see how it goes. I do believe there's lots of demand still for NEO. It's just that the real question is, could we still maintain strong margins during this recessionary environment? I'm still optimistic, though, nonetheless, because NEO is still a very strong company, in my opinion, going forward. I believe their management team is doing a much better job than before. And I believe, although it needs time and patience, NEO will explode going forward. Now, looking at some more news that came out, NEO just reported that as of the 31st of March, NEO built 106 NEO houses, 282 NEO spaces, 291 NEO service centers, and 52 NEO delivery centers. Once again, over 1,300 power swap stations. That includes many of them along highway routes. So very, very awesome news seeing NEO continuing to grow on a day-to-day -day basis, seeing NEO continuing to outperform many of the competitors out there and actually defying many odds. However, NEO is subjected to very high standards, so they still have a lot of growth to achieve. And if they keep building more and more of these power swap stations, as they mentioned previously, that is still very bullish news. Now, I'm still very bullish on NEO, like I mentioned, going into the much longer, longer term. But for the time being, I do want to note to everyone that for the medium term, things could change big time depending on the recession and how it affects earnings and the overall market's performances. So far, NEO is just uh, barely in the green. We only have about 19 million in volumes, not the strongest of volume. And also, I just want to note that the short volume is now up just a little bit. We are seeing a little bit more shorting on NEO. It's up to about 55%. I also want to note that uh, the price pairs ratio is a little down. NEO is still not performing as strongly as the market. Uh, many analysts are saying it's going to perform equally with the markets. And then as far as the short interest goes, we are seeing another increase. Another 7.6 million shares of NEO were shorted just a couple of days ago. Once again, it shows some manipulation and why NEO is actually dropping. Now, as the market is starting to cool off just a bit, I just want to note that, that there is going to be some profit taking 
for this Friday, and I'm sorry, for this Thursday, because the market is closed on Friday, and uh, this tends to happen during long weekends. So how is this affecting Neo? Yes, it's slowing down just a bit, but I do believe it has the potential to try to bounce going into next week. Why may Neo bounce? Well, the answer is when you look at Neo's charts, this thing has the potential head and shoulders developing. This could be like a left shoulder ahead. If it's going to form a right shoulder, it's going to get a nice balance and get closer to about the 9.5 to 9.7 area. That's the first thing. We're about to get this crossover on the PPO. We already got it. And when this happens, we tend to see Neo actually bounce quite nicely, at least to some degree. So this is telling me that Neo is primed for a bit of a bounce. The market might actually try to rally early next week going into the big reports. I also want to note that for tomorrow, we have some big data coming out. We actually have unemployment data coming out for the month of March. I think it's most likely going to meet expectations, if not be a little bit higher than expected. Because during March, we start to see a big increase in initial jobless claims. We start to see more unemployment. For the month of April, so far, for the first week, we actually saw a bigger than expected increase in initial jobless claims by about 228,000 compared to the 205,000 forecast, which means the jobs numbers are starting to actually look weaker, the employment sector is getting weaker, and we are now showing more and more signs of entering a recession. This tells me that the unemployment numbers are going to be very important tomorrow. The stock market is going to be closed because of Good Friday. So we're not going to see any trading when this comes out, but we do have some huge data. We have non-farm payrolls and unemployment. If this is way too high, the market could have a very mixed response to it. If it's very low, the market's likely not going to like it because the lower it is, the more likely the Fed is to actually remain hawkish and actually raise rates even more or even keep them higher for longer because we need some pain to bring down aggregate demand. Now, anyways, for Neo, what am I essentially seeing? We're about to close. We're actually not that far from close. It's actually holding up quite nicely. Still in a pretty decent position, not too red, not like extremely green either. And what's good about it is we do look like we're about to launch off this area. We were actually seeing this divergence that was developing uh, right about here. You could see Neo was, the RSI right here was continuing to make these highs as Neo was dropping from this point here. And then on top of that, now the divergence is starting to show signs of playing out. When we zoom out on the PPO of the MACD, once again, there's another divergence that formed. Uh, so like if you look right here, the price has made this like higher low compared to these lows. But the RSI and also the MACD is a lot lower where the signal line is. That tells me we're likely going to get a bounce. It doesn't have to be a huge bounce, but at least a small one early next week going into monday and tuesday as we approach wednesday wednesday is going to be another big day because we have cpi coming out so i think as we approach wednesday it's very likely that we're going to see neo continue to rocket neo continue to rally and neo trying to get to the mid nines if not a little higher than that i believe we're going to be forming this either right shoulder or neo is going to try to get back above nine dollars next week early next week and i think the odds heavily favor that all right, guys, so could the market pull back a little bit first before we get the bounce? I mean, it is still still possible, but I think Neo is holding up nicely here, and it might actually try to get that bounce. You can see right here we actually came very close to filling this gap. If not, we fully filled it. So I don't know if we're going to come down then and get the big bounce, or we're just going to keep going. I believe the odds favor us trying to keep going because NVIDIA looks like it wants to keep going. So does the QQQ. The QQQ does not look like it's ready to just start dropping hard from here it looks to me like it's going to try to get back to these higher levels next week i believe this will help neo get above nine dollars back to 9.5 very very soon so please remember the market is closed tomorrow for good friday and we have big data coming out the unemployment numbers all right so thank you all so much for listening have an absolutely fantastic rest of the day enjoy the weekend and i'll see you guys in the next one neo to the moon because the long-term future is still incredibly bright and peace out